Today I'm planning a cross-country flight from Laconia, New Hampshire down to Plum Island and then over to uh, Hampton Airfield, grass strip there, and uh, then back to Laconia. And um, I'm going to show you the sights along the way. Most likely I won't do a lot of filming until I get down to Plum Island um, and then from Plum Island up to Hampton and Hampton back to Laconia. I'm on my way down to Plum Island, just left Laconia, cruising at 3,500 feet. It's a smooth, calm day. Uh, it's a little cloudy overcast, clouds I think around 9,000 feet, uh, but it's perfect for today's uh, flight down to Plum Island and then hopefully over to Hampton Beach or Hampton Airfield and then back to Laconia. So we'll pick up once I get down to Plum Island. I've only landed at Plum Island Airport one other time and I came in landing from the east. In this case, I was landing from the west on runway 10. And as you'll see here, I had about a 70 uh, degree left crosswind coming down from the north at about eight to 10 knots. And as I got down to the tree level, it really got a little squirrely and things started to look a little bit unstable. And right as soon as I touched down, I knew it wasn't going well. So even though I had touched down, I gave it full power and wound up doing a go around. And again, I always recommend if it looks like it's not gonna be stable or it's gonna be more than a bounce, uh, just go around. And that's what I did here. I'm out of traffic, Super W162. You know me, I was gonna go around for runway one here. I'm out of traffic, Super W162. Downwind, runway 10, come on. Well, that was a rough landing. Try that again one more time. Come on, traffic. Super Cup 816 Whiskey Romeo, turning left base, runway 10, come on. Come on, traffic. Super Cup 816 Whiskey Romeo, turning final for 10, come on. Well, that was a rough landing, but we did it. Windy crosswind there in a narrow runway. All right, just landed at Plum Island, now headed from Plum Island, uh, Mass, up to Hampton Airfield, and then back to Laconia. Wind's pretty uh, gusty here, and it's a cr crosswind, so it'll be a fun little takeoff. Plum Island traffic, Super Cup 816 Whiskey Romeo's back taxiing in runway 10, Plum Island. All right, gonna do a quick run up here. Plum Island traffic, Super Cup 816 Whiskey Romeo departing one way, 10, we'll be exiting the pattern to the north, Plum Island. All right, we got a crosswind here, so we gotta put some correction in. Here's the beats coming alive. There we go. Oh yeah, that crosswind is really, really strong out here. Sea breeze, I guess. Actually going over Plum Island now. Tell me what to do. Show me how to feel. Under your control. Everything is real So hit me So hit me Oh 
Boston Approach, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo. Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo, Boston Approach. Uh, yeah, it's just departed Plum Island, currently passing through 1,200 to 2,500, uh, headed north to uh, Hampton Airfield, request flight following. Romeo 6, Whiskey Romeo, squad 5153, nine, nine, Whiskey Romeo. Under your control, everything is real. So hit me. So hit me So hit me First a confession With you, I feel a connection With you, it's like an infection I've been infected with an obsession With you, never any tension Nothing but love and affection Enough of my case, so let's cut to the chase Listen up, cause these are the directions Obey what I say, don't complain I don't wanna hear questions Six whiskey from here, radar contact two, three miles northeast of the Palmer uh, Airport, Boston, similar to 285 altitude. This is 1085, currently 2100, going for 2500. Okay. Boston approach, Super Cub 816 whiskey Romeo, it does have Hampton Field in sight. Six whiskey from here, radar service two and squad three, five, six, and two, and you're Roger that. Tickets are ready and frames approved to be a par 6 Whiskey Romeo. Whatever you say, girl, I'm under your control. So hit me. So, for the remainder, you were about to get chained up. If ever you feel you're in danger, just say the safe word, I won't get anger. Now, I'm done being playful. I promise that I keep it Hampton clean. Field, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo, about two and a half miles east of the airport. I'm down for runway two, Hampton Field. I'm going inside, you're not going nowhere until the sunrise. I love when you scream, I know what it means. That's why we're Hampton traffic, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo, turning left down in runway two, Hampton. It's funny how nobody knows how much you love being under control. Tell me what to do. Hampton traffic, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo, turning left base, runway two, Hampton. Under your control, under your control. Hampton traffic, Super Gummy 16 Whiskey Romeo, turn final runway 2, full stop, Hampton. Whatever you say, go. Nobody needs to know. Whatever you say, go. I'm under your control. So hit me. Nothing but love and affection. So hit me, nothing but love and affection, so hit me, head back, hands tied, mouth shut, eyes wide, baby I'm yours, I said baby I'm yours, whatever you say go. Okay, we made it down on Hampton. I'm gonna check out somebody here. Chat with them for a few minutes and then we'll be heading back to Laconia. I'm here at Hampton Field. This is about a 2100 foot runway. It has a grass strip as well as a paved strip. Uh, it's right next to Hampton Beach. Uh, it's a great little airport. Uh, I actually did my soft field landings when I was working on my private pilot's license here. It's a fun little airport. It's got a great little restaurant here. Haven't been to it in a few years, but man, it was fantastic. Some fantastic food. I recommend the, the airport. It's a, got a nice kind of vibe to it. There's the restaurant. Somebody's taking off in a cub as we speak. And somebody's coming in for a landing right there. A little bit of a crosswind day, but great, great flying otherwise. Later on it's gonna have some rain, but for now it's it's fantastic. All right, we're getting ready to take off out of Hampton. Here we go. Line up here, runway 
Heading. There we go. Carburet mixture rich primer lock lights on. So we just left Hampton, going for 3,000 feet here, and we're heading back to Laconia. And I should get on track here. I see I'm a little bit south of course. Boston Approach, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo. Hello, Mary, 16 Whiskey Romeo, Boston Approach. Oh yeah, just depart of Hampton uh, Airfield en route to Laconia Airport. Currently approved passengers 2,500 to 3,000. Request flight following. Number six with your own squad five one five seven. Five one five seven. Six one one six around now. Number six with your own radar contact, four miles southwest of Portsmouth, verify taper craft. Uh super cub eight six whiskey around now. Roger. Below me is Great Bay. Uh, adjacent to that is the Pease or Portsmouth International Airport. And off a little bit further to my northeast is the city of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Off to my 10 o'clock is University of New Hampshire. A couple of my uh, kids went there. Going right over the University of New Hampshire now, right off my uh, nose. Wow, what a complex. It sure has grown a lot in the past 20 or so years. There's a vineyard down there. You can see all the trees. The trees are all budded out. The leaves are very small still, but you can see a nice light green halo uh, down below of all the hardwood trees. Interesting watercolor there off my right, and that quarry. Or feels like the winds are starting to pick up. That's why I got an early start this morning to enjoy a smoother flight, which it was up until uh, we got to the coast. There was a little bit of a sea breeze, but not too bad. But now we're getting a little bit of lift here as the day gets a little bit warmer. We've got some weather coming in here this afternoon. Again, another reason why I came in early. Came out early. On the other side of that ridge of mountains there is Laconia Airport. Beyond that are the Sandwich Mountains and then the White Mountains. Pretty hazy today. I don't know if you can see it that well. I was out flying yesterday and the winds are really light at the surface and even at altitude. But wow. There was so much uh, vertical lift going on. I was getting bumped all over the place. 500 feet up, 500 feet down per minute descent rates. It wasn't a fun ride. Ray 16 with your Romeo, connect search 134.75. 134.75, 16 Whiskey Romeo. Boston Approach, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo with you at 3,000 feet. Ray 16 Whiskey Romeo, off the fetch rider. So directly off my nose is Lake Winnipesaukee. So directly in front of me are the Belknap Mountains. Beyond that is Osby Mountains. And beyond that is the Sandwich Mountains. And then the White Mountains. And you can see uh, the tip of Mount Washington off my one o'clock, still, still covered in snow. Probably covered in snow until June. So we're coming up on Alton Bay, a southerly sliver of Lake Winnipesaukee right off my nose, and then the main lake is right out beyond that. Rattlesnake Island is the big long island, again right off my nose at 12 o'clock. So off my 10 o'clock is Alton Bay. This is where uh, they have the Alton Bay Ice Runway. Uh, I was there in February landing at that, that strip. Matter of fact, uh, it only lasted another week or so before they closed. It was open for a very short period of time this year. I don't think it was open at all last year. So I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to land there. 
Laconia traffic, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo, about 10 miles southeast of the airport, inbound for 26 Laconia. Now there's quite a few boats out there, a lot of, mostly fishermen. A lot of fishing going on right now, they're fishing for salmon. Hemlock salmon. So again, Rattlesnake Island, the Long Island right off front of my nose, and Diamond Island next to it. I don't know if you can see it on the cameras, but uh, there are the Ospi Mountains beyond that. And you still see white cover snow on top of Mount Washington. It looks like it's breaking up a little bit, but it'll still be there probably till June. See a lot of people on a trailhead here hiking up to Mount Major off my wing, left wing. During the summer months, that, there can be, there is a matter of fact, a line of traffic parked outside the uh, trailhead area. Fuel selector valve pulls tank, it is problem mixture, we're going to go rich, pushing it in, nice and controlled on that. Then lights on, we'll check our heel brakes, yeah, they're there. Uh, Seatbelt secure and lock, approach brief, or descent brief complete. Laconia traffic, Super Cub 816 Whisker Romeo, 4 miles just uh, east of the airport, and for 26 Laconia. Beautiful looking day out there, the boats are out. Airport looks great. There's Governor's Island off my uh, nose right now. Laconia traffic, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Realm is going to be crossing over the moment a uh, midfield pattern out there for a short left down 126 Laconia. Laconia traffic, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Realm, you know, crossing midfield pattern out there short left down 126 Laconia. Laconia traffic, Super Gov 816 Whiskey Romeo on the left, uh, down one two six Laconia. Laconia traffic, Super Gov 816 Whiskey Romeo, left base two six Laconia. Laconia traffic, Super Cub 816 Whiskey Romeo, turning final for 26, full stop, Laconia. Let's get ourselves lined up here. There we go. And we'll just hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. So it was a great flight down to Plum Island and then over to Hampton Airfield. I hadn't been to Plum Island uh, um, since last year and hadn't been to Hampton Airfield in 10 years, uh, at least by plane. Been there to the restaurant many times. Uh, again, I can't say enough about that restaurant down there. Great place to eat, great place to check all the aircraft coming in. There's a lot of uh, old aircraft in there, a lot of Cubs. Um, it's just a great fun place to be and it's, it's close, close to the beach, Hampton Beach. Highly recommend hitting both those airports. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for this video, and hit the bell so you get notified when I come out with my next video.